Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Heart of Iron 4. Now, I do want to thank everybody in the comments section. Uh, it is a little more difficult for me to read comments now than it has been in the past because I'm, you know, instead of dealing with several dozen a day, I'm dealing with several hundred a day. It's hard to read them all, but I, I do try my best. And a couple, a bunch of people told me that uh, I don't have resistance in all of China because uh, I beat China in a war and they were not allied to a a faction so the territory is, is is conquered which means it's basically as good as a core province it's not a, it's like the next best thing to a core province so it, it's it's not it's con it's completely conquered it's mine it's not occupied territory so when I was playing as Germany and I had you know stuff in the Netherlands or Belgium or Luxembourg or France that was occupied territory which is why it was and you know those were governments in exile and I just occupied their land which is why there was you know resistance so thank you folks for commenting. I do learn things every once in a while. We got a small naval battle going up over here. We are starting to head into India, which means we are going to need some MPs. Uh, it shouldn't be a big deal though. It's like our... Are they disengaging or still trying to move in? Their destroyers are too fast for us to get a good beat on them. Um, we lost one destroyer in this battle. They lost two. Do we have a no We immediately found them again. Oh, this was a fleet of 44 destroyers. All right, so we do, we are going to need some MPs because we're moving into India. So uh, I'm going to queue up some of them. I actually made my MP divisions a little bit smaller off screen. I knocked them down to just four um, four regiments of cavalry. It didn't need to be eight. didn't need to be that big. So let's get some of those on. We're going to go MPs. Oh, train. No, nope, not mountains. MPs. Train. Add, add, add. Four. Five. Um, let's put them, oh, they're already on, uh, like, lowest, lowest equipment, so we're set in equipment. It's a shame we can't get them in there, but next best thing is going to be over here. And it's okay, though. Not a big deal. And should you, should you think, well, these guys are starting to suffer attrition. Uh, well, in the combat's not that difficult, so we'll just take them out. It's not that hard. We'll just take them out. And we'll go through here and clean up all the border gore. As these guys are marching out. Was it just jungle? Very hot. It's very hot, so they're suffering from attrition. They're very warm. That's very warm. We got... Oh, these are... This is a carrier. What do we got here? Carrier and a... Heavy cruiser. They must be new constructions, I assume. Do we have our... What's it called? Our ships set to auto-deploy to one province or wherever they feel like? Looks like wherever they feel like. So I'm going to tell them... To go to Nagasaki. I want to make sure I know where they're going. I like to have them go to one place. What do we got here? Uh, there's a bunch of different fleets. Some are, well, these two can, can combine. So we can get rid of this one. Submarine. I'm going to get rid of that one. There's a bunch here. Submarine, submarine, sub. Okay, these are all submerged. So these are all submarines. All damaged submarines for the most part. Let's get these C these these guys, merge them together. Let's um, get them down here. That's four CVs. It's a full fleet. Let's get them out somewhere out of the way. And then we've got this this new carrier right here. We can put them together with other people. Might wanna, we might want to do that. Looks like the Netherlands capitulated to Germany. Germany, as Paradox likes to say. Uh, now, does that does that actually give them anything? Um, no. I was thinking maybe it would give him some stuff down here, but no, all belongs to me still. Some naval action, a couple subs down. Whoa! Those are five battleships versus a whole fleet of British ships, including carriers. Were these are my old. Were these my older battleships? Yes, they were, and the rest of the fleet has been was damaged and disengaged. So this is my new fleet. Well, some of it's still under repair. 
Oh, let's um, put them on search and destroy. Um... Well, right now they're set to not- they're not gonna go out because they're da there's some damaged ships. Well, let's hope our battleships survive. Heavily damaged as they may be. Disengage. Do they get sunk? Whoa! That was a loss there. So they lost- the British lost a cruiser and 16 destroyers. I lost four light cruisers, six heavy cruisers, seven destroyers, and three battleships. The Yamashiro, the Mutsu, and the Nagato were all sunk. That was mostly because they didn't have any uh, air support. So they're gonna head back um, to port. Where are my other ships? They're not done. Do I have ships there? Alright, well let's, um, let's finish up here. Clear up the border gore. I don't know how much I need to actually clean up this border gore myself, but it looks like a lot. And you, sir, are gonna go over here, and then over here, take those, zoom around, and then we're gonna go down here and take this stuff. We should have captured a lot. Bulgaria and Finland, advanced weapons. That was down here. 50% uh, research, destroyer models, submarine models, naval doctrine, and rocketry tech. Wow. All right, now we can do battleships and get battleship models, naval base expansion, but I don't think we necessarily need to do that. Uh, war goal against Netherlands, United Kingdom, strike the U.S., Prince I am, that's out of it now. Air base expansion, army motorization. Most of it's already done. Let's get our naval base expansion up. And we're definitely going to want to take our fleet of carriers. I think, no, it's not this one. Which fleet is it? No, well, not that one. Where's it? Where? I, don't even, I, I can't even, like, oh, it's over here. Oh, so this is where... How, what are they doing over there? Did I tell them to go there? So, this guy, he's... Alright, you're gonna be on Search and Destroy. Search and Destroy in the South China Sea. Gulf of... Uh, here. There we go, this area, because this is where the British fleet was. All right, we got this on auto and it's doing well. So we're good here. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect India to be a big problem. I really didn't. All these guys are taking care of everybody, are taking care of the border gore. Infiltration, focus. Get our last political advisor in here. Or we can change one of our laws. We're on limited exports at the moment. Total mobilization. Limited conscription. We don't really need to change it. We could just we could just stockpile it for now. And we have some free military factories. We are short. A bunch of naval bombers. That's about it. And we're finally uh, up on... Well, we're getting military equipment, too, now. We gotta get the... What's it called? Going. I mean, that actually looks like a guy holding a sword. So, Night Assault Tactics. Yeah. Alright. I feel like we're doing good. Like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I, I still kind of wish I could I could force these guys, uh, Siam, to give me some stuff. But they're not gonna they're not gonna give me Singapore. No, they're not gonna do it. Well, there was a brief naval engagement. But it's over. I mean I, I think we're okay on resources. What are we low on? A little bit of aluminum. 
that's about it. Everything else we got oodles of now. Literal oodles. India, easy to take care of. Not, not a problem here at all. I love these divisions, these little tank divisions. I mean, we're get, we got a lot of, uh, what's it called, built up experience too, we, to, to do something with. MPs are coming. Uh, we got more light tank divisions coming. Those are actual light tank divisions. Which is, well, they're mostly motorized, honestly. Should probably fill out support. Let's get support already. Well, do we have support already in there? Support already. Um, logistics company, yes. Save that in there. Combat width of 24, that's pretty high. I am going to fill out, completely fill it out with light tanks. Well, we have medium tanks, don't we? This is a light tank division. The medium tanks are slower. Let's reset this. Let's just, let's just get the logistics company in there. Let's add one more light tank in there. Save that. We're not, we don't actually have medium tank divisions. These guys are using medium tanks. They are indeed using medium tanks. And we could we could make these faster by upgrading these to from infantry to something else. Combat battalions are frontline troops. Each column is a regiment. I just want to make sure I read read over this so I don't know I'm not messing something up. Like armor infantry the, the topmost type decides what you could put in the regiment column. The more combat battalions you have the bigger combat with, two of these divisions will be able to fit in the same battle. Okay. So someone was telling me it like it made a difference between you know like the order in which you put them in, but it doesn't look like it does. I don't see that anywhere. So double the amount of medium tanks. How many do we have actually stockpiled? Only if we don't have that many stockpiled. So we're not going to want to go crazy on that. All right, we are we we found the British fleet. Wait, is this? It says CV there. Where's the rest of them? No, nothing came of that. All right, so battleships. They're, gonna, they're almost in firing range, and then they fell out. All right. I mean, we did lose three battleships, but they were old battleships, and frankly, they were battleships. So. Alright, so let's see. Select you. Make sure you just hold here and you're on repair. Do not engage. Fire at will. Make sure that's on. There's... Well, no, that's, these are all tier 1 battleships. It's, this is basically my old fleet. It's not something to really worry about. Submarines are on repair. Select this guy. Make sure... Still repairing up all the destroyers and stuff. May 11th is when everything will be done, it looks like. Somewhere around there, at least. Not too bad. It's British Raj troops, yeah. Not bad. United Kingdom called Finland as an enemy to German Polish war. Finland joined the Allies. German right declared war on Finland. So, Germany's going to war with Finland. How are you going to get there, Germany? Germany, Germany, Germany. What have you. Alright, I'm thinking getting our Air Force up and running a little better is probably going to be a good idea. And we've got a lot of bombers working. I mean, we haven't done much with our Air Force. We could always crank this up a little. How many civilian factories do we actually have? 84. That's not too bad. I'd like more, but it's not too bad still. Cool. Yeah, we got this going. These guys are still working. A Bulgaria? Alright, Germany's poking everybody in the eye with a stick now. Looks like they lost a bunch of their planes. 
Or at least, I thought they did. Alright, you guys are heading over this way now. We're actually going to catch them? No, no. They keep getting away. Too fast. They are indeed too fast. I mean, there's not much coming from any of these. It looks like they, as soon as we engage, they try. Well, we already sank that destroyer. Submarines, good. How are they? Oh, we're all we're all either regular or we're, we're yeah, there's no green units left. That's the one thing the Japanese army has basically. Lots of experience. They have uber amounts of experience. Can I ask? No, I can't ask for control of anything. Uh, nope, nothing there. All right, light tank divisions. The light tank divisions are are cool. They're going to be pretty effective, I think. Are right, is is nothing getting sunk? Is that really what's going on? Literally, nothing's ever getting sunk. Oh, see there, someone, something finally happened. Some planes were shot down. Oh, uh, looks like the Furious was sunk by the Shokaku for a uh, uh, naval airstrike. Hmm, experimental rockets. We can probably stand to get our encryption and decryption tech up. That'll give us combat bonuses. Oh, they're actually attacking us. That's cute. Oh, you just hang out there. Wait for your reinforcements. So, now that's that's this one. Yes, that's that one. So stop. Uh, we're gonna draw you a new offensive line here. Like this. And just have them swing in. Uh, on these big fronts where the combat's even, I am perfectly fine giving it over to the battle, of the you know, the control the battle over. I feel like the battle planner is a little overutilized. Now that I got the hang of it, um, I mean, to a point, I, I, I'm definitely more comfortable with it now than I was before. Uh, it, it feels like it's a little too powerful, if, if anything. I mean, it's, it's a very... I'm gonna lose subs here. Looks like it. It's a very powerful feature. We lost one submarine. It's just so easy to draw a bat, especially if you have grand battle plan. So easy to grab a... Grab a battle plan, draw a line, and battle. And, you know, just tell them to go. Oh, they caught us again. Lost two. I'm thinking we need to... Uh, there's this fleet. Oh, these are submarines. Japanese Fleet 3. Um, this is a good fleet here. Fire at will. So they're on... Why do they keep... Why does it keep getting set to that? Uh, let's put them on patrol instead of search and destroy, because search and destroy, they weren't able to actually find them. Hopefully patrol, they will. Got our marines over here. Right now, they're stuck, but that's fine. Might If we wanted to, we could probably upgrade the marines to make them stronger. Where are my marines on here? Ah, here they are, right here. Uh, logistics, we could give them... And give them some artillery to go with. Although they're marines, I feel like just sticking them, keeping them with support units should be good. I found some subs. Not much came from it though. All right, you go. Launch this attack. British Raj is going to fall. We're wasting factories. Shiha medium tank. It looks like we're pretty good on basically everything.
Naval bombers we're not using right now, but it might be a good idea to get them get them working. Care fighters, we're good there. Naval bombers. Well, that's it. That's naval bomber. I thought I saw naval bomber down here. Naval bomber one. We're so we're still build, building naval bomber ones. But we're also building naval bomber twos. So that means we can get rid of this one. And that's an interwar Rico. Which one is that? Which bomber is that? What am I looking at? That's this one. And we have we do have the KI-21 research, so we don't need to be building those anymore. KI-21. Those are tactical bombers. There's just so many different ones getting built, it's starting to confuse me. Alright, we're good. We're good now. Uh, let's get that up. Jap Japanese, I feel like light tanks are definitely something we're going to use a lot of. Definitely. Oh, and we have more factories. Keep overrunning them, I think. So this is tank 1, tank 1, tank 2, tank 2, tank 2. We can upgrade the Hagao to a Mark III again. To, to another variant. We can variant it up again. Although it is basically maxed out at this point. Or... Well, that's a... No, no, we're good there. Hagao Mark II. Chiha. Oh, medium tank 1. That's what I'm missing. We can variant the Chiha again. Increasing its armor really knocks down the reliability. So let's do that. Uh, and then we'll switch out the Chihas, the Chiha. We had a Mark 1 and we weren't using it. Interesting. There we go. That's what we want. There we go. And we found them. Oh yeah, and they're getting hit. Sunk a battleship. Carrier took a hit. Alright, so we lost a destroyer and six planes. They lost 24 naval bombers, six fighters, cruiser, three heavy cruisers, 11 destroyers, and now they lost three battleships. The Malaya, the Barham, and the Warspite. Excellent. And that was, yeah, that was that battle. Yep. Superior Japanese carrier tech for the win. Alrighty. Still doing well. Still doing well. Uh, the Navy, I think I bungled a little bit, but this is kind of my first foray into heavy use of a Navy. Landcraft, nice. Was that the, is that the third one up? That was just the second one. Okay. We can get better subs if we want. We can upgrade our destroyers, which is probably a good idea at this point. I mean, we're, we're behind on destroyer attack. We're, I think we're still building Fubukis. Definitely still building Fubukis. Alright. And I think it's time... ...to start messing with these guys. Alright, so let's do here... ...here... ...you two here. Try to wipe these guys out. And I think we're going to end this episode right here. We made a little bit more progress. Really blasted into uh, India here. Although I now I see some landings behind my back. Which we are going to have to go back into. Who's this? That's part of this guy? Alright, there we go. Oh, so you guys are going to come over here and take care of this. Apparently, I left four divisions behind and didn't realize it. But we're going to leave this here. If you have enjoyed it, please just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Hearts of Iron 4, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.